Hello, welcome to Best Reviews at YouTube. This item has a rating of 4.4 out of 5 stars. A customer wrote, This little drive has a lot going for it, attractive design, good fit and finish, petite form factor, very quiet, must press ear to case to hear the drive spin, and easy as falling off a log to hook up, one wire. It's even comes formatted for the Mac OS. It's a bit pricey and you can save 3 or 4 jacksons if you go with the USB only version. However, FW800 is faster and it's easier to daisy chain this little guy to external FW drives rather than unplugging my mess of USB cables. Love that it draws power from the connection so no need to lug a wall wart. It's no speed demon and is a lot slower than my big FW drives but that's to be expected for a tiny 5400 RPM unit, took many hours to copy 650 GB of files. Averaged about 33 MB per second according to Carbon Copy Cloner. After all that, the unit was only warm to the touch, but not hot, so no worries about it overheating when unloading huge audio or raw image files. One tiny nitpick. This is really a FW800 and USB 2 drive. There is no FW400 port. However, it comes with a FW800-400 adapter cable so no biggie. All my Macs have FW800 anyway. USB 3 would be nice to future-proof it a bit but I'm sure that will be included in a more expensive model. There is one big gotcha. When connected to the FW800 port this drive never spins down. Sleep mode doesn't invoke spin down. FW800 on my Mac Pro, OS 10.8.3, is always powered so even with the computer shut down the G drive is still warm and spinning. My lossy IE, OWC and WD externals all spin down in sleep mode and when the computer is shut down, so apparently the G drive firmware isn't smart enough to spin down when the computer becomes inactive. However, I found a workaround. USB 2. When plugged into the USB ports of my Mac Pro the G drive will spin down when inactive, sleep mode is invoked or when the computer is shut down. If I would have know about this glitch I would have saved $50 and bought the plain USB model. Thank you for watching. Please give the thumbs up.